goes to Carrillo. Right. He was washed away by this river. Oh, really? Yes, so they put on a bailing, one of those uh, metal uh, army type of uh, provision. We stop, there will be a, a shaded place while we walk up 15 minutes from the riverbed and 15 minutes back, half an hour, plus the time that we spend uh, at the pond. Welcome to Shangri-La, secluded place. I, I, I found uh, sometimes uh, people that ask me, hey, do you have any more of those secret places? <laughs> and this is spring water, okay? Don't be misled. Just flowing out because of the uh, uh, thick trees. And this is the water that uh, the owner drinks. He takes a pipe from up there. Oh. This is pure coconut milk. Oh, so that's the milk? The milk. Look how dexterous he is with it. He's, take, he's taking out right what's called the, the, the coco. We go as a group, which means one guy go ahead, other behind, sending and receiving. Okay, here we go one by one. So, you're gonna keep your hand on the cable yep, yeah, yeah. and make the pressure down yeah. in the very end, okay? All right. Okay, one hand here. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you ready? Go. 
Pisote. In Spanish it's called pisote. Pisote? Yeah. He's snapping with that big nose, so find it. Okay guys, there's some water here. Cold <laughs> water. For you uh, guys. There's gonna be a couple more here. Absolutely. Alright. Just a little dry on you. Yeah, I'd say. <laughs> Anyway, let me introduce your captain. His name is Riddle. Your second name is actually Eagle Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna look for everything we have in this river. The one we have, and then Hinga, an Hinga or Hinga. It's also known as a snake. Yes, and if you look the feet, well, you can see it well from there that they have webs as well. Membranes, which help them to swim. Okay. The snowy egret. Snowy egrets are easy to recognize because they have a black color beak, black color legs, but if you look carefully on the feet, they have yellow color feet. Mm -hmm. Light hair, you see? Yeah. They have, they're nocturnal, so at the time they're resting. So, another night hair. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay, thank you. See also right on the back has like a little whitish color? Yeah. I guess it's been there for a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the basilisk lizard. 
Basilisk, or also they are known as the Jesus Christ lizard. Okay. Three, three, three of them. Okay. It's like a family. It's, it's like a family. Right. Right. It's a snake bird. See, that's why it's called a snake bird. Only one under. Up there, up there, up there, flying. Up there, flying, up there. Up there. Up there. Up there. Up there. On the other side, you'll see. Oh, sorry. It's the national tree of Guatemala. And it's known as Ceiba or K-pop tree. Have you ever heard of K-pop? Yeah. Above the roof. See the, see the tiny one? Yeah. Yes. It's a swallow. Oh. It went freeze up, but it didn't have any luck. Look at it, it's running inside the tunnel. The ring is The tail of this one is different than the, than the iguana's yeah, tail. The tail is different, yeah. And even their eyes and their color along the back is different too. Those are insect bats. Oh, insect bats? Okay. Yeah. We have like... Now, I was telling you that we have like half percent of our population are bats. So we have like 109. Some of them will be eating on insects as this one. So they are very important because they keep the insect population low. And not really vampires normally don't attack people. Right here. But over here to the left. Look ahead. Just move it slowly because you'll run away. You'll run away. That's a green heron. No, it's not right now, I know. It's blue and red. Oh, look, they're jumping up there. They're jumping up there ahead. They're jumping. Yeah. Uh. There's another one getting ready to jump. See it? It's going. It's getting ready. Can you see it now? There he goes. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that caiman just in front of us. There's a whole fight close to the edge if any of you want to go and fight with this caiman. There's another one going up there, look. Yeah. Whoa. There's three of them jumping. This is the third one going to jump now. A minute. <laughs> oh, <yay! laughs> you made it! You made it! <laughs> Came us when they're babies. So these like, babies, for example, the babies. Once they get this big, like the one to the left, they have no many natural predators. Blue heads, okay. blue, black, and white. Then. See it with your naked eye. Look at that one going down. I am filming it. That, that's big. Bang. Bang. You can see it. That must have been as big as a car. It's still careering down. Bang. Oh, <laughs> 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 
one. Again, if that arranges to keep cool. It's in the sun, there you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. What kind of food does he eat? He basically seeds. Seeds, most, and definitely leaves. And <laughs> yeah, I told you you make them angry. It's exciting. It was two. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, for the the crest. Yeah, it's for the crest. The males is among the ones that are able to change the color to color orange. These monkeys, they are really powerful. You know, when the stuff and the other monkeys and the on the branch, and they had a baby. They just stole the baby, they start to play with the baby, and they threw it to the monkey, and then the other
It is not a sea crab, it's more river crab. So the ants gonna eat it. It is poisonous. Well, yeah. yeah, I got a long stick. <laughs> wow, it's good. There's another corpus flower on the too, on this tree here to the right. Very nice. Oh, yes. Straight ahead, right up above us, across our branch. Yeah, We're getting ready to jump across the river. Yeah. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Mm -hmm. See it? Yes. It went all the way across the river on tree branches. Right up above us. El cacao dura bastante, ¿sabes? En la refri de este cacao puede estar mucho tiempo. Sí, es shining. Mm -hmm. Un buen punto, así. Es un buen punto. Alright, alright. 